Well, as you remember, this piece of shit couldn't make it up Sky Hill, it kept dying out. So I had to do some work on it, and the starter motor of course died at the last run. And, well, anyways, I was assuming that that Japanese fuel filter off my Nissan was plugged up. It was kind of plugged, I kept taking it off and blowing it out with gas and compressed air. Lots of black shit came out, so maybe that's the problem why it kept dying out was lack of fuel flow. But the bigger problem was the starter motor. As you know, this is a loud sounding engine and it has a leak at the exhaust pipe to the head to the exhaust manifold. Well, that's what a melted solenoid looks like. This was obviously leaking a long time before I got the truck because I went underneath to repair it. I found out it had a wire fire before before I ever seen it. That's an old wire fire, so there's not much amps getting through what's left of that to the starter motor. Burnt up in the same area was a bunch of other wires including the kick down shifter cable so that the transmission kicks down to a low gear when you accelerate quickly. So that's still kind of fucked. I'm going to keep this starter motor because solenoids are only worth about 12 bucks so I can change it and repair it. Now, lucky for me, off another old seized up Chevy engine I came across, I got a good old starter motor like that to put on it and a whole new piece of you know, wire to go to the starter motor. So I think everything's going to be fine. I haven't tried it yet. Also off that same piece of shit vehicle I got the starter off of, I got these sweet modified manifolds. These are the kind that you turn upside down, switch from left to right, and you exa add exhaust tips onto. These exhaust tips happen to be from an 85 Mustang GT, the stainless steel tips. Wouldn't they look sweet on a truck like that coming out of the hood? Or maybe on a Buick like that, or on a Chevy Act like that. They fit all GM small blocks from 267, 305, you know, 350, 327, 400. Sweet. I just have to put little flapper tips like a tractor on top so the rain doesn't come in, come in and seize up the motor. Well, now after all that work, let's go see if this piece of shit's going to fire up. Hmm, I love the beer bottle disposal hole in the floor. Probably even pee out that too. Sounds good. Didn't get any quieter. Damn it. Well, I also had to replace some fuel lines while I was changing the starter motor, but as soon as I bumped them, they started leaking, including the tranny cooler line. So now I've got to reprime the fuel system. Try to. Cool. 
I like it.